Hello, this is Matt with MJ Family Farms. It is a beautiful morning out here on the farm. Cows are grazing, chickens are eating fresh grass, and we're doing something that we don't like to do very often, but need to do sometimes as we get our regenerative farm established, and that's tillage. Um, we are a no tillage farm, but um, in some cases, especially when we're breaking in a new pasture or trying to rehabilitate certain pieces of the property, we will do a little bit of light disking just to break up really hard soils, especially like it is now in summer, um, and put fresh seed down. And then that seed becomes our, our permaculture. Um, so it's kind of a fun morning right now because we do get to play with the tractors a little bit. Um, and my neighbor just uh, finished up baling forage grass, orchard grass mix, and was nice enough to sell us a couple big round bales. So what you're looking at there are some, you know, big thousand pound plus round bales of hay, forage grass, orchard grass. Um, and what I like about his hay, let's see if I can find something for you here. Here, it's still got mature seed heads in it, which you know what that means. As the cows graze this, they will plant seeds for us. This is animals and man working together. Um, regenerative farming, right? So this is a little bit of my version of what I've seen a lot of other farmers do where they're rolling out hay as a method of not only long-term feeding their cattle so you don't have to take them leaves and bales every day, but more importantly to reestablish and reseed the pasture. And so I'm going to do a little bit of a hybrid of that since I'm trying to really break in this pasture that's like mostly weeds and some no-till ryegrass that I attempted to plant last year. It did okay, but it didn't do amazing. Um, I would kind of want to give this pasture a jump start. And so what I'm going to do is a couple things. One, we're just doing some really light, you know, two, three inch shallow disking here. Knock down the squirrel holes. We've had quite the summer of squirrels. Um, but also to just break up some really hard dirt. It's been, we've had a couple heat waves already. I think we're well into summer and the ground is hard as a rock. Um, so my no-till drill is, is even not enough weight to crack this open. So Papa Schwartz is out there running the disc right now on the old 1951 Massey 65, which is a true workhorse. So he's out there finishing up the disking. We're about done. And then I got my dump trailer here rigged up for disaster. Um, <laughs> this is gonna work not perfect, but we're gonna use this. This strap is gonna hold this bale in place while I raise the dump trailer. This strap is gonna choke the top of the second bale, the one I want to fall out, so that it lands not on its butt, but on its rolly side just like it's sitting in the trailer is how I want it sitting on the ground right here. So we can roll it down the hill onto our freshly tilled soil so that the seeds fall out. Then I'm gonna let the cows graze that for a couple weeks and probably go behind them with my no-till drill. And after I get my no-till drill to put some seeds in the ground, we'll, we'll water it in. And all of that leftover forage will act as ground cover for the new seeds. So more to come, thanks.